Hi everyone, this is Derek from Twisted Inflations. Today I would like to show you how to put a 160 into another 160. Lately on Facebook there are uh, some discussions about um, double stuff, um, especially to put a 160 into another 160. Um, some people find it quite difficult to do. So I would like to show you my way of doing it. Um, it's actually quite simple. Um, the equipment I use is this is a bamboo skewer. Um, this is the one that you can pretty much buy from a dollar store or Walmart. Um, it's the one, it's just the regular one people use to make kebab. Um, they put the meat in and put it on the barbecue. Um, so they have uh, a pointy end and a blunt end. So um, before you use it, make sure you trim the uh, pointy end. Uh, just use a pair, pair of scissors uh, to cut it. And uh, the reason I pick it um, is because the skill is really thin, so it's actually fit. It will actually fit into a one a one sixteen nice and smoothly. Um, but it's also pretty strong, so it won't um, bend or change shape uh, when I have to put when I have to use some force um, to insert the balloon. So now that's how you that's how you do it. You the first balloon I use it's um, it's going to be a black uh, 160. That's going to be the inside balloon. So I I just have to slide the skewer into the black balloon, and because it's nice and strong and um, and the powder inside the black balloon, so you should have you should be able to put the skewer in no problem. And as you can see. Um, the balloon is pretty strong and it remains the shape, a really strict shape. And um, it's fine because the balloon is uh, longer than the skewer, um, so you won't see it, but you can still feel the, um, feel the end of, of it. Now, before you put this into the second balloon, um, what, I, what I usually do is I stretch the inner balloon or the black balloon a little bit more so it actually form a nice and tight skin around the skewer. That will help um, you that will help when you put the balloon into the second balloon. Now you get the second balloon and you start sliding it because the um, the inner balloon it got stretched it so you can you should be able to fit in to the first part uh, pretty easy. So now normally up to the middle part you will start you will still feel you will start to feel the resistance which is fine uh, all you have to do is stretch the black balloon a little bit more okay and then keep sliding the silver balloon um, and what and what you need to do is um, you don't you don't have to push the the front end all the way uh, all you need is is to push the back all the way until it hits the skewer, and that's that's what you have to do first. Now and then you grab hold of it so it won't it will stay in in place. Now you can see the balloons is um, the outer balloon. It got some uh, wrinkles, uh, which is fine. And then you got like a big chunk of the inner balloon. Now here, what you have to do is to grab the nozzle of the silver balloon. Okay, just the nozzle and then start pulling it down until the skin or the wrinkles are gone. Now you are pretty much um, have the inner balloon or the black balloon inside the silver balloon but it's not good enough because you got this big chunk of the black balloons and you can you you sometimes you can feel um, the part part of the black balloon you got crumbled inside uh, it's not in this case, but most of the time you will you will see it. Um, so what you have to do is again grab hold on the end, and then grab the nozzle of the silver balloon, and start pulling, stretch them. And as you stretch, you can see the it will align with the black balloon. And once it's aligned on both ends, here you just go stretch it really long really long. So what it does, it will align both balloons um, so they will become in place. 
and then you slowly um, release it. You don't want to slap it. You just want to slowly release it. Um, so in here, you can pretty much feel it's all smooth. It's all smooth. Yeah. And now you start pushing the skewer out. Now be careful when you push the skewer. Make sure you don't um, you don't uh, change any play any placement uh, of the of the balloons. So you just push the balloons out. Uh, I mean, push the skewer out. It's okay. And you just like keep push down, and then you slide the 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 skin back. Or, or the balloon back until you see the end of the skewer and here now you grab hold of the end of, of the balloon and just like carefully just carefully take the skew out and here you have a nice double stuffed balloon and you can feel um, the end are pretty close to each other, and as the uh, as the point. So pretty much you're done, and now you can blow it up. Now just be aware um, when you try to blow up a double stuff one one sixty. It usually uh, takes a bit more effort to blow it up because now the the balloon it become more stiff because the uh, the double stuff. But once you blow it up, you can see a nice uh, metallic black color. That's uh, why one of the reason why you want to have um, the silver or why you want to uh, double stuff um, the balloon because you want to create. A different shade or different texture of color um, that is not available um, as a single balloon. Um, you can actually create a metallic blue or metallic red by putting in a red balloon inside a silver balloon, and it will work out nicely. The other common one is the pearl white balloon. Um, I use the pearl white balloons um, to create. A lighter shade of certain color, let's say pink. Um, since that's the lightest pink, uh, Qualitex uh, is is available uh, from Qualitex. Uh, if I want to go any lighter than this pink, I put the pink inside a pearl white balloon, and it will give you even a white, a close to a white color with a shade of pink. Um, so that is how I create a lighter, uh, a lighter shade of uh, of of the certain color. Um, you can also do uh, 160 inside the 260. That's what some people recommend. Um, the only reason I don't really like it is uh, this is a one stick. This is uh, a 260. I mean a 160 inside a 260. And this is a 160 in a 160. Um, you can kind of tell uh, when you compare both. Um, the 260, the 160 inside the 260 is slightly thicker than in the 160s. So um, it will work on certain uh, on certain sculpture, but most of the time, when I especially when I want to do dress or or when I want to do some fine details. Um, Part, um, I want to remain the 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 one sixty the thickness of what of a one sixty, so that's why I um, I do one sixty in a one sixty. So um, basically, that's how I did it. Um, I hope everyone um, will able to uh, to do it, and um, that's what you need. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to let me know. Uh, this is my very first um, video. Um, I just want to get it out there so people can um, feel more comfortable doing double stuff. Um, it's not really professional looking, um, but I hope uh, I hope to bring some more uh, better stuff uh, in the future. So until next time, um, I will see you and thank you very much for watching.